42 years ago this July, Space Invaders invaded arcades, quickly becoming the highest grossing entertainment title ever up to that point. It's had a long and illustrious life right up to today, including a tabletop dice game released relatively recently in 2017. The game's a simple prospect. You control a turret at the bottom of the screen with only a few static shields to protect you, and even those can get chipped away by fire from the oncoming alien horde. Well, that's not your only defense, of course, as you also have a good offense, a powerful cannon that will destroy any of these enemies in one shot. As the enemies are chipped away, they move faster and faster. Now. We might take this for granted nowadays, but this gradual ramping up of difficulty was a revolution back in 1978, and it was a completely unintentional one. There's no special programming here, it's just that the 8088 processor powering the game gets less and less bogged down with the number of sprites it must generate, and is able to process faster and faster as they're removed. It's a brilliant example of turning a weakness into a strength. It received a few home ports to the second generation, to the Atari 2600, 5200, the Atari 8-bit computers, and to the MSX platform. But if we were to go over every spin-off, every knockoff, and every reimagining over the years, we'd be here for quite a while. The most recent video variation was Space Invaders Infinity Gene in 2009 published on the seventh generation of consoles and mobile devices of the time. Three years ago, Turn 1 Gaming released a dice-based take on the classic. The instructions are a tad confusing if you just read them before you know what's going on, but we got the hang of it pretty quick once we saw the flow. The basic idea is to roll the dice and see how many aliens you're able to shoot down in a given turn. The aliens are tracked on a special score pad, and if you're unable to use every face of the dice you've rolled, you take a hit. As you clear out columns, you're instructed to remove dice from the number that you're able to roll, indicating the increasing speed at which the aliens descend, and therefore the increasing difficulty hit to hit one square on. I thought it was a rather clever way of conveying the processing limitations from the old 8088 platform to the physical realm. Now, if you've been following this feature so far, you know I've managed to barely wrest victory from the jaws of defeat twice. Well, not this time. Coming right on the heels of his humiliation at the end of Turbo, Dan just annihilated both me and Jenny in the final points tally. 22, 16. Yeah. Wow. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> it's the UFOs. That's what you did have, it. Yeah. You had five. Yeah. yeah. You had <laughs> almost twice as many points as I did. I had one. I had 1,200 points just in the UFOs. Yeah, I had 1,250 total. <laughs> bah! Next time. Got any fond memories of Space Invaders or its multiple incarnations over the years? Have you played this dice version yourself? Let me know in the comments below or on Twitter at Tesseract Unfold. Meanwhile, like, subscribe, spread the word, and I'll catch you again next week.